Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe JCL Practical Tutorial Part 4. So in my last video, I was explaining about the IBM utility called IEFBR14 and we have seen about the features, uh, the advantages and uh, we have seen practically uh, how do we create the data sets and how do we uh, partition data sets and sequential and various things so in this video I would like to share or tell explain about the IEB Jenner and what are the advantages of it so and see practically by connecting to the mainframe terminal okay uh, IEB Jenner it is used uh, for copying either physical sequential files I mean that is to copy from one physical sequential file to another physical sequential file and it can copy uh, the next important thing is it can copy the records with maximum up to length of 32760 that is if the sending uh, the sending file and the receiving file should have maximum it can have a, a maximum of 32760 bytes if you are trying to create a physical sequential file more than 32760 it gets appended okay it won't it won't create it it might create for 3261 or 63 you can have a try it won't create more than that so it can copy PDS uh, to PS file and uh, it can also be used for sending an email this is very much used in real time so there will be a couple of reports uh, that need to be uh, sent to a customer or a client so on the mainframe there will be a bad jobs will be running daily so based on that bad jobs they will send a notification to the clients stating that so your batch uh, the batch has been started and this is the status or there might be uh, some reports that need to be uh, sent to a uh, customer so they use of this email step uh, and it is also used for sending a file to printer there will be a lot of files that need to be sent for a printer so they we use the IB, IB Jenner has that flexibility or that importance uh, I say that it is, it is very very important in real time this email printer uh, copying a physical sequential file or this it plays a very key role try to understand this IB Jenner plays a very very important so let's to connect to the mainframe and see uh, first we will see how to copy a physical sequential file to one physical sequential file so I have a one PS file I mean the it starts with the job card the next comment you have a, a IB Jenner has a utility so step one and the next CCUT1 CCUT2 so make sure that what are the properties you have in PS1 and it, the same should be in PS2 I mean uh, PS4 so let's see what properties it has okay go to 3.4 and see what properties it has so it has a it is a physical sequential file yes record format fp 40 400 and so on so same way it should have fp 40 400 and the ps file okay then enter that's it Mac ended with max is zero and your file has been created so if you are having any data in this no empty so the data it won't get copied into the ps4 so see this should be sorry it should I think I saw okay it should be PS1 right it should be PS1 I need to search for PS1 okay first I will search for PS1 what it has it ha if it has any data over here yes it has three records and I created a PS4 data set and copied from PS1 okay yes the same is created and the same is copied and what was the record length 4400 yes the ps1 also had the same one so in this way you can create a data set and uh, copy a data set from one file to another file it is at the, at the same time you are creating it so the next important point is it can copy the records with maximum length of 32760 bytes let's see what it is uh, so I here have a, ma a file of a maximum record length of 32760 Yes, max. Okay, so you can see 
enter arrive as a column so that you can get the column numbers over here to find out what exactly which position you are the cursor position is where the cursor is pointed and then go to F11 see you can see this it's a maximum length is 32760 okay so now just make sure if uh, PS Max 3 is already created or not let's check it no no data set name found so now we are trying to create it and copy the data from PS Max to PS Max 3 so why I'm telling this this is a maximum record length you can create and uh, okay submit it enter submitted yes it is created now let's go ahead and see if it is created yes it's been created for 32760 and enter just go and see yes the same data is copied over here so this was the second point you can copy the records with maximum length of 32760 bytes it can copy pds to ps file the next important point uh, copy ps to pds PDS to sorry PDS to PS so I have a member called the PDS test one and in this the PS okay before going to this make sure you have anything PDS and you have members yes TST one is there so what I'm going to use TEST one no it is not there so you cannot copy this right so make sure that you make it as TST one this is very important you need to make sure and make sure exactly the members are available in the ccut1 or ccut2 if it is already created make sure to delete it pds to ps right pds to ps pds to ps no data set now found then we are good now we can go ahead and create these data sets so I will be I will be telling in my next videos like uh, how to handle the situation if the data set is already created and you are trying to create those things uh, it might get a bend so in order to avoid those bends so we will be having some checkpoints we will be creating before these steps if it is if the if the going data set is already created so we can first we will we will check it if it is already created then delete it then in the next time it won't get appended so we'll be taking I'll be coming in the my next videos those things uh, first thing since it, this is the basic tutorial so just I wanted to have a uh, clear clarification about this all these uh, important utilities so once you are aware of this utilities then you can start playing with the JCL it's very interesting submit it yes and if it's zero now we can see that your file has been created since that data set member was empty so obviously it will be empty okay this is the way you create uh, you, you can copy a PDS to PS file so next step will be how you can all eyes as I said it can also use it for sending an email this is very very important in real time why do we create why do we create an email so it is sent to send an email reports to your client or a customer stating that your batch cycle has been started or if there are any reports that need to be sent so you can send it through an email from the mail so you the, you'll be having a set of batch jobs created so one of the th others so so once the three jobs are completed the next uh, thing is to send an email in that way you can have it so jcl using ieb generator to convert not convert <laughs> send an to ieb generator to send an email okay make sure this comment is very very important so it you can understand what you are going to do in this step sorry so IB general the same step ASMTP you should need you should register I mean your system need to be registered with the, some SMTP server and uh, there will be a mail server for a particular mainframe system and it should it should be set to on so if it is set to off you cannot send an email need to link with the mainframe administrator the mainframe administrator will take care of these things or the network operation will give us the mail mailing list I mean I mean the mail server 
names and uh, so on so based on that mail server name you can send an email so basically this would be the steps we need we follow so hello this is a mail from recipient to data from two subjects if there are any attachment uh, attachment uh, need to be added as part of this email so we have a couple of other steps that need to be added into this email so as a basic just this would be fine so just submit it so if this if the mail server is already there so it will go send as an email if it is not there so just an ignore just it would be like a testing testing thing okay that's it uh, that was about the sending an email the next thing will be uh, sending a file to printer so it will be same like an uh, uh, sending an email step where you will have a CCUT1 and CCUT2 so you will have some uh, like a printer ID instead of SMTP there will be a printer ID which need to be registered I mean which need to be as uh, what you can say set up the printer ID should be set up uh, the main the mainframe administrator or the network operation will work on this and they will give us uh, some ID some printer ID where you have to add this printer ID and uh, send uh, your data sets so you might be having some data sets data set files or the report files that need to be sent to printer okay so this was this was about all the IBM utility called IEB Jenner and its importance I hope you have enjoyed this video and you got some important points about the IEB general utility I would be coming up with more and more videos about practically and it might be daily weekly or monthly so maximum I'll try to post at least one video, one video daily so stay tuned to mainframe tutorials enjoy learning if you if you like this video kindly please share like or subscribe me on my youtube channel for everyday alerts thank you so much have a great and pleasurable day